My name is Stephanie Collins. I am a UT Law alum. I graduated in 2008 and was licensed to practice law in the state of Texas in 2009. I've been out since high school. Um, I was actually outed, uh, which, you know, is common um, in our community. A uh, girl that I had a intimate relationship with um, told the entire high school that I had forced her into that um, romantic physical relationship. Um, I went to a boarding school in high school in Oklahoma City, um, which is uh, was and is still a very conservative place. Um, and uh, I encountered a lot of um, bias and a lot of, of harassment because of what she did. Um, I think it's interesting that, uh, you know, it, this, this um, issues we're having with people saying that trans women using the gender affirming restroom of their choice uh, are a threat to women and their privacy. Um, it's, it's not a new uh, issue that our community's been dealing with because, because I went to a boarding school and people knew that I had an attraction to women, um, I got asked the same things. You know, the, the, the girls in my dorm complained to the administration that I would be looking at them while they were in the shower, that I'd try to sneak into their rooms at night and have sex with them. And so, yeah, this is something, this kind of bias is something that our community has been experiencing a long time. And um, so that's why I think, you know, we as, as queer people need to be united in pushing back against these stereotypes that we're predators. So I've been out, I was out in law school. I've been out the entire time I've been practicing. I am bisexual, so I am married to a man and have had relationships with men and women all throughout the time I've been in the legal field. Um, and uh, I make no, no secret of my bisexuality um, to people I practice with and um, to the community at large. Uh, I, it is very well known in um, the Travis County Criminal Defense Bar uh, and the criminal bar in general, including prosecutors and judges, that I am a queer person and that um, uh, you know, I um, am active in the community. I don't experience any bias to my face. I've never had anyone that I feel like, um, I've never had opposing counsel or judges or other criminal defense attorneys say anything bigoted or do anything to me that I felt was motivated by bigotry against queer people. That being said, I, because I am really one of the only vocally out criminal defense practitioners in this part of the county, in this part of Central Texas, um, I get asked a lot of questions that um, might be off-putting to some people, but I just try to take it in stride and um, be a resource for people who have questions about our community. I think it's been a really good experience with clients because I feel like I've made myself available to queer criminal defendants who feel more comfortable with a queer attorney. And so I get hired by a lot of queer uh, criminal defendants. Um, I get asked to help on cases where I'm not the lead attorney with where uh, an LGBT person has been charged with a crime. And um, I feel like it's been a nice business niche basically for me to market myself to the queer community as somebody they can come to that will address their special issues in a criminal case. Um, I, I work with a lot of queer criminal defendants and I, um, I have become very familiar with the multitude of special issues that uh, LGBT people face in the criminal justice system. And um, that has given me kind of a, a a toehold in that community, and uh, it has given me a lot of business opportunities I may not have gotten if I wasn't out.
If you're an attorney who's thinking about coming out of the closet and acknowledging and being open about the fact that you're LGBT, I would say do it and do it for yourself because you'll be a lot happier being an authentic individual. Do it for our entire community because we need you to be out there talking to people about our community and what it's like to be LGBT and to humanize us to people who do still carry the misconceptions and the bigotry. Do it for your clients because you may never know, you may have somebody that needs you and needs you to be out and to be advocating for them. Being out, you can find a lot of uh, support in um, a LGBT bar association. I'm very active in the Austin LGBT bar association and I think we, um, we've done great work at being um, a voice for LGBT people and LGBT, attorney, LGBT attorneys in the bigger bar associations like the Austin Bar Association and the State Bar of Texas. Um, and adding your voice to that gives us more numbers and more persuasion in those bigger bar associations to make sure that our needs as LGBT lawyers are addressed and the greater LGBT community's legal issues are addressed as well.